African swine fever ASF, was first identified in Kenya, East Africa, in 1921. It was discovered among domestic pigs following increased contact with wild warthogs in the region. Since then, ASF has spread to numerous countries across Africa, Europe, Asia, and more recently, has been reported in the Americas, posing significant challenges to the global swine industry due to its high mortality rates in domestic pigs and wild boars, and the lack of a commercially available vaccine. African swine fever ASF, spreads through a variety of routes, highlighting the complexity and challenge of controlling this highly contagious disease. Direct contact between infected and healthy pigs, both within domestic herds and between domestic and wild pigs, serves as a primary means of transmission. This route is particularly prevalent in environments where pigs are kept in close proximity, facilitating the spread of the virus. Indirect contact with contaminated objects or environments also plays a significant role in the spread of ASF. The virus's resilience allows it to survive on farm equipment, vehicles, clothing, and even in feed, making disinfection and sanitation critical components of disease prevention efforts. Vectors, specifically soft ticks of the genus Ornithodoros, introduce another pathway for ASF transmission. These ticks can harbor the virus and infect pigs, a route that is more common in geographic areas where these tick species are found. The practice of feeding pigs contaminated pork products or waste food containing pork is a significant risk for ASF introduction into new areas. This route underscores the importance of controlling swill feeding and ensuring that pork products are properly disposed of to prevent disease spread. Furthermore, the movement of infected wild boar and feral pigs across natural landscapes can introduce ASF into new areas making the interface between domestic pigs and wild populations a critical focus for disease control measures. The absence of a vaccine for ASF necessitates a comprehensive approach to biosecurity, emphasizing the prevention of exposure through stringent controls on pig movements, farm hygiene, disposal practices, and, where feasible, the management of wild pig populations. African Swine Fever ASF manifests through a diverse array of symptoms that can range from mild to severe, reflecting the disease's highly contagious and often lethal nature among pigs and wild boars. Affected animals may initially present with a high fever, a hallmark symptom that is accompanied by significant increases in body temperature. This fever is often the first sign of infection and can be followed by visible reddening of the skin, especially noticeable on the ears, snout, belly, and extremities, indicating hemorrhages beneath the skin surface. As the disease progresses, pigs tend to lose their appetite, becoming increasingly lethargic and showing clear signs of weakness and an unwillingness to move. This decline in physical condition may also be accompanied by gastrointestinal symptoms, including vomiting and diarrhea, which in some cases, may contain blood. Respiratory difficulties, characterized by coughing and labored breathing, can emerge as the infection advances, further complicating the animal's health status. One of the more distressing aspects of ASF is its impact on reproductive health, with pregnant females at risk of miscarriages, stillbirths, or delivering weak litters. A definitive sign of ASF, particularly in its acute forms, is the occurrence of internal and external bleeding. This hemorrhaging can be seen in various internal organs as well as external orifices, such as the nose and rectum underscoring the virus's severe impact on the infected animal's circulatory systems. In many cases, especially with highly virulent strains of the ASF virus, pigs may succumb to the disease suddenly, with death occurring swiftly and sometimes without a significant display of prior symptoms. This sudden mortality without extensive premonitory signs poses a substantial challenge for early detection and containment of outbreaks. Given the similarity of these symptoms to other swine diseases, notably classical swine fever, accurate diagnosis requires laboratory testing. The absence of a vaccine or effective treatment for ASF makes prevention crucial, relying on stringent biosecurity measures, controlled movements of pigs, and maintaining high standards of cleanliness and sanitation within pig farming operations to mitigate the risk of spread. African swine fever ASF, presents a formidable challenge to the global swine industry, primarily due to the lack of an effective vaccine or treatment. The control and management of ASF, therefore, rely heavily on stringent preventive measures, 
rapid response to outbreaks, and comprehensive strategies aimed at containment. The cornerstone of ASF management is the implementation of robust biosecurity measures, designed to prevent the virus from entering pig farms. This involves strict control over farm access for people and vehicles, adherence to hygiene protocols by farm workers and visitors, and thorough disinfection practices. Surveillance and early detection play critical roles in the battle against ASF. Regular health monitoring of pig herds, coupled with the swift reporting of any suspicious symptoms to veterinary authorities, enables early intervention. Confirming ASF infections through laboratory tests is essential for accurate diagnosis and prompt action. In the event of an ASF outbreak, immediate measures include quarantining infected and exposed animals and imposing restrictions on the movement of pigs, pork products, and any potentially contaminated materials. These steps are crucial to prevent the further spread of the virus. The standard response strategy also involves the humane culling of affected and at-risk pigs, followed by the proper disposal of carcasses and contaminated materials through safe methods such as burial or incineration. Ensuring that these procedures are carried out effectively is vital for eliminating the source of the virus. Cleaning and disinfection of affected farms are indispensable steps before any reintroduction of pigs. This process requires meticulous removal of organic material and the application of approved disinfectants to eradicate the virus from the environment. Additionally, educating those involved in pig production about ASF, its transmission, and prevention strategies is paramount. Providing training on biosecurity practices, disease recognition, and the critical importance of timely reporting can significantly enhance the effectiveness of ASF management efforts. While the immediate focus is on prevention and containment through non-therapeutic means, ongoing research and development efforts aim to find viable treatments and vaccines against ASF. Supporting these initiatives and keeping abreast of scientific advancements are important for the long-term control and eventual eradication of ASF. Given the absence of direct treatments, the global approach to ASF management underscores the importance of collective action and cooperation among farmers, industry stakeholders, and government authorities to implement these preventive and control measures effectively.